This video will cover the topics using a graphing calculator to find the zeros of a quadratic function and using a graphing calculator to find zeros of a polynomial function. This type of problem requires use of the Alex graphing calculator. Is the Alex graphing calculator different from a graphing calculator such as a TI-84? The functionality of the Alex graphing calculator is similar to what you could find in a graphing calculator like a TI-84. However, navigating the different calculator functions is different for the Alex graphing calculator. So let's get started by doing an example. Use the Alex graphing calculator to find all real zeros of the quadratic function f of x equals negative 4x squared plus 10x minus 3. We can access the Alex graphing calculator by clicking on the blue text that says Alex graphing calculator. This is the Alex graphing calculator. Since the problem is asking us to find the zeros, we want to start by inputting the function into our calculator. We can do this by clicking on the button that says y equals. Now that we see this screen, we can type in our original function. To see a graph of this function, we can click on the graph button. If we click on the zero button, we'll be directed to a new screen. From here, we can find the zeros of our graph. We must drag the left line to the left of the desired x-intercept, and we must drag the right line to the right of the desired x-intercept. In this case, the lines are already on the proper sides of the x-intercept, so we can now click zero to get our answer. We can see here that the calculator now tells us the location of the x-coordinate when the y-coordinate is zero. Okay, so the calculator is telling us the x-intercept, which is the same thing as telling us the zero? That's right. So this x-coordinate will be one of our answers. We now know one of the zeros, but since the graph crosses the x-axis twice, we still have to find the other zero. We can do this by clicking New, dragging the lines to the appropriate places, and clicking zero to find our second x-intercept. The problem tells us to separate our answers with commas, so we write our answer as 0.35, 2.15. I know sometimes I need to find zeros of polynomials that aren't quadratic. Can I use the Alex calculator for polynomials with bigger exponents? We can. In fact, a quadratic is just a second degree polynomial, so we can use the same process with a polynomial of any degree. Let's look at an example. Use the Alex graphing calculator to find all the zeros of the polynomial function f of x equals negative x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x minus 3. We can go to the y equals button and type in our function. Now we click graph to see a graph of the function. We see that the graph crosses the x-axis three times, so we will need to find three zeros. To begin, we will click on the zero button and will be prompted to adjust the lines to the left and right of the first x-intercept. Once we have our lines in the proper places, we can click the zero button to get our first answer. We see that the graph intersects the x-axis when x equals negative 1.46. We will need to do this twice more to find the other two zeros. Our second zero is 0 0.76. And our third zero occurs when x equals 2.70 because we're told to round to the nearest hundredth place. So to find zeros of quadratics and polynomials on the Alex graphing calculator, we must input our function into the y equals menu, then click graph and use the zero tool as many times as the graph crosses the x-axis. That's right. 